Hello everybody, it is Henry NWR 1911 here with a brand new episode of DVD Reviews. It's been a while, but I have decided that the sixth episode of Thomas DVD Reviews and VHS Reviews will be Thomas Comes to Breakfast. Said release was first released on August 18th, 1998 on VHS, reprinted on July 25th, 2000, and then released on DVD in February 2006, reprinted in 2009, under the retitle, Pop Goes the Diesel. I don't know what the thought process behind that was, but, you know, who cares? Let's start off with the 1998 edition. We have Braille Craft Liquor, Thomas Stinger and Friends, Thomas Comes to Breakfast. Thomas looks really cool. He's out front. Oh, is that Tidmouth? Oh, it's missing the big roof, but okay. The Behaving Well Story Collection. Okay, um... If being conceited, spreading lies, and refusing to work counts as good behavior, then that's you. On the side, picture of Thomas. Thomas saying he's your friend. Scroll on down here. Brawlcraft. Back. We have, you know, Snapshot from Percy Takes the Plunge, even though that's not on here. And Dirty Work. Storyteller George Carlin. And we have our episode orderings. Now, while in the, in the official ordering... In after Thomas Comes to Breakfast, Daisy Comes to the Railway. On this tape, after Thomas Comes to Breakfast, comes the Duck and Diesel trilogy. So, so many people for ages have thought Diesel came to the island to do Thomas's work instead of Daisy. Entertainment to grow up with, and if it'll focus, it actually says the original story number, number that the episode came from. I mean, the original <laughs> volume number. Okay. Ugh. Tape. Very simplistic. This took, um... I think 65th day of 98, I guess. Now we're gonna take a look at the 2000 print, which, if you watched my previous video, idio, you'll know this is an echoed version, as it's a 2000s Canadian print. So we have, you know, Henry on the cover in this classic ick style of poster. That looks really cool. Cool. But we get this image of Trust Thomas. This poster doesn't make a lot of sense. Henry doesn't star in any of the episodes. He does appear in a few, but I guess Cow on the Line is the closest thing he gets. And why this Trust Thomas image? That's not on here. But I do like this green and this red text. It's a nice contrast. Side, we have Cartoon Tom Thomas. Thomas, we're all down here, but all craft. Back, Henry from A Cow on the Line. That makes sense now when... The same image of James from Dirty Work. Blurb. I think it's the exact same as the VHS. Story stops. Visit Thomas Friends at ThomasStangage.com. And we have the Canadian print. Adian rating symbol. As this is a Canadian copy. Now I don't have the 2006 DVD. EVD. E on its own. But I do have it in this. Now I'll just put up a picture of what the 2006 DVD looks like. You know, we get a picture of um, of Thomas, Amos on the cover instead of Henry, uh, but we still get the trust Thomas image, and and the color is now blue. That's interesting cover, and the Thomas as you're seeing on your screen right now has been clipped from like a random hit era episode. I don't know which one, but I don't care. Anyways, now let's look at the DVD. So I only have the disc in the Adventures on the Track set, and I'll pr I probably won't get the actual DVD for a long time, given it goes for crazy amounts on eBay. But, you know, Adventure on the Tracks, we might see this. Did we see this in person? Go see Trick? Let me know in the comments. I can't remember. Ember. Ember. But let's just, you know, oh, slide this out of the slipcase. Here's what it looks like. The disc looks like. Looks awesome. Now we're going to show off the menu for Thomas Comes to Breakfast. And here we are for the menu of Thomas Comes to Breakfast. Now, okay, that looks a little weird. Thomas's wheel is, like, over the platform. Orm and the signal's in front of him, but who am I to disagree? Beggars can't be choosers. So t Sir Tom has explained to us about the DVD and how it works. Pick a story... Let's review our stories. Thomas Comes to Breakfast. Classic story. Everyone loves it. One of my all-time favorites. Pop Goes the Diesel. A simple, funny story that you can really just put on any release. It doesn't really feel connected. 
need to be connected to the rest of the Duck and Diesel stories. Diesel's Devious Deed, that's all right. That's a good story. A close shave for Duck. Duck's best episode of the series and the most serious runaway of all time. The trucks in this episode are the most evil of them all, you know? They go, they sing, they want to throw Duck off the rails and cause him to crash into a barber shop, prop, which could have killed people. Gordon takes a dip. Ip, the, I love Gordon being a jerk and refusing to take a train because he's a petulant child. <laughs> love it. Of it. <laughs> Yeah, while the UK title has this lovely metaphorical meaning, eaning, so does the US title. Gordon takes a dip in the ditch, but his pride dips too. Double Trouble, gotta love the Farquhar trio. Cow on the line, I I love the inconsistent, dickish, dickish, nicey, nicey Henry thing. And Trouble in the Shed, Percy's introduction episode. What on earth was the team thinking in when they, you know, put Percy's first appearance last on the DVD? when he appears in the majority of the stories like that's just weird james's connect the dots game we're not going to play that and the character gallery is literally the exact same as on percy's ghostly trick so go back and watch that one because i'm not going to review it here sing-along song and the sing-along song not on the vhs's little engines engines can do most anything Little engines can do the biggest things. Oh, nope, I suck at singing. This will autoplay on the DVD. It's shoehorned into the main feature. What were the team thinking when they put, you know, a season six song at the end of a season one, two DVD? Read along as Thomas and the Naughty Diesel. I'm going to review the early years at some point because it contains this, but oh my god. We just have to look at some shit, something ridiculous in this, you know, in this book here. here. Send him to the train doctor? What the, what the fuck? Like, seriously, what the fuck? Train doctor? Could they not have just said the works? Oh, thank God. But anyway, this is a decent story nonetheless. And that's pretty much all I have to say about Thomas Comes to Breakfast. Wish me luck trying to get the original 2006 DVD. I'm probably never going to get it. But hey, at least I have the DVD in this, you know, pack. I meant like a solo case version. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Next DVD review, I've decided is going to be on the first Thomas DVD ever. Thomas gets tricked. And after that, Thomas and the Treasure. And what DVD should I review for um, episodes 09? I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe.